Church Lane Level Crossing is a set of four wooden gates, two of which hold gate locks, two of which hold gate bars. As the gates are closed, opposing gates are closed first to stop traffic, then the non-opposing gates are closed, the bars are driven through, and these are then locked with the gate key. The same key then releases the lever frame upstairs. Here we can see all the opposing gates being closed first, and then the non-opposing gates will be pulled too. As these gates are closed, the bar is driven in. You can see the gate bar here being pushed in. And that is then locked. And we can see the key in this example here being used to lock the gates. The gates are also provided with an electric detection, which releases the gate lock lever upstairs, and then the signaler can clear the signal. Opening the gates is the exact reverse procedure, putting back the signal and the gate lock lever and releasing the key. Now this is Norbury Crossing, which is a small gated crossing mechanically worked off a lever frame on the Buxton to Manchester line. And there's a slight different uh, design here at Norbury. What they have here is a quadrant plate welded to the base of the level crossing gate, which conflicts over the locking mechanism. Now you can't get the locking mechanism up here until the gates are fully shut. So it's a simple design. There is a, a second version of this where this plate is adaptable and you can alter it and move it round. But that's a simple way of doing it. Darlidale Station is a manned set of double level crossing gates made of metal. These are electrically locked, meaning that a pair of electric locks are mounted on each gate post so that once the lever has been put in from the opposing gate and turned upwards, as you can see in this example, no, that then allows the electric lock to drop in and physically lock the gates. Once the tracks are clear, the signal has been put back to danger and the train has departed, the gate can be released by pressing the release button, which energises the electric lock, providing all the circuits are correct, allows you to unlock the gates, as you can see. Way, cutting through the long platform. In bygone days, much longer trains would have had to uncouple whilst loading prior to departure. This isn't done nowadays with smaller trains. Yeah. 